Pakistan stock exchange is defying the larger economic trend in the country and breaking all records with the Karachi stock exchange breaching 90,000 points in intraday trading today. Analysts and experts attributed the phenomenal run of the bull market to the $3 billion IMF loans, expectations of a rate cut by the country's central bank, low price to earnings ratio, and a relatively stabilized currency. Hello and welcome to The Print. I am Dev Datta and in this episode of Go to Pakistan, we discuss what is behind the bullish rise in Pakistan's stock market. Now, widespread buying activity was seen in key sectors such as oil and gas exploration, oil marketing, power generation, automobile assembly, cement and banking. Market analysts attribute this bullish trend to expectations of another rate cut by the State Bank of Pakistan fueled by predictions of lower inflation in October with many anticipating a cut of above 200 basis points, marking the fourth consecutive reduction since June. Former Finance Minister Mifta Ismail told the print that there are broadly two reasons driving the surge in Pakistan's stock market. First is that the market is expecting State Bank of Pakistan, as mentioned, to cut its policy interest rate by 200 basic points. Now, typically, an interest rate cut acts as a boost to economic growth, although it can also push inflation up. Now, the second factor, according to Ismail, is that the price to earnings ratio, which is a measure to gauge how linked the stock price of a company is to its profitability, is still low in Pakistan as compared to other emerging markets. This means that there is a considerable room for stock prices to grow further. Economist Javed Hassan added that the performance of the stock market is also fueled by deeply discounted valuations of most of the companies. Just a year back, the market was trading five times below prospective price-to-earnings ratio, which made it among the cheapest markets in emerging and frontier markets. Hassan said that many of the banks were trading at well below book value. Such valuations effectively were discounting the possibility of default and economic implosion. But now, with Pakistan signing on to the latest IMF loan, these fears have abated and the stocks reflect a much more stable macroeconomic environment. Meanwhile, in India, the Nifty index declined for the third consecutive session on 23rd October, closing at its lowest point in over two months. Global markets, too, have faced pressure from a rising dollar, a lowered growth forecast from the IMF, uncertainty surrounding the US elections, and escalating geopolitical tensions along with expectations of a less aggressive approach from the US Federal Reserve regarding rate cuts. Now, several factors contribute to the rise of Pakistan's stock market. Notably, improved macroeconomic conditions, a decline in inflation and stabilizing monetary indicators have been pivotal. Investors are also expecting a significant cut in the policy rate which could boost market performance further. Additionally, The said loan by the IMF, which is approved $7 billion for Pakistan, is aimed at stabilizing the economy and will be disbursed to Islamabad in its installments over 37 months and is designed to support the country's economy. Moreover, the market's recent performance has also been increased by favorable macroeconomic conditions such as a decrease in inflation and anticipated monetary policy adjustments. Now, Pakistan's annual consumer price inflation stood at 6.9% in September, which was the lowest in three years. It dropped from 9.6% in August. However, strong performances in key sectors, particularly oil, gas, banking and cement, are driving the stock market rally. The oil and gas sector especially has made notable contributions with stocks like oil and gas development company, Pakistan Petroleum Limited and Pakistan State Oil experiencing substantial gains. Hassan said that, however, this does not suggest that the economy of Pakistan is out of the woods and is poised to grow sharply. While the fundamentals remain precarious, the growth over the next couple of years is projected by the IMF to remain below 5%. Former Finance Minister Mifta Ismail also added that the strong performances, even if there are issues in the Middle East, will drive the oil and gas sector further. Now, the recent surge in the Pakistan stock exchange can also be attributed, among many other factors, to a robust combination of local investor confidence and strong institutional backing, which created an environment ripe for a significant market rally. This enthusiasm among investors has been a crucial driver of the stock market's momentum, according to economic experts. 
Economist Uzair Yunus told the print that after nearly three years of stagnation, the Pakistan Stock Exchange began its upward trajectory following the securing of the IMF standby arrangement, which signaled a restoration of macroeconomic stability and a political commitment to necessary reforms. Investors perceive the State Bank of Pakistan's signals of a potential rate cut as a green light for increased borrowing and spending, which could further stimulate economic activities. According to Yunus, given that the interest rates have peaked, the currency has stabilized and the inflation has come down drastically, domestic and foreign investors have piled into the Pakistan Stock Exchange. And this trend is expected to continue as the price to earning ratio at the PSX still hovers around 5 times compared to over 20 times for the Bombay Sensex. This is Devdatta for the print. Keep watching for more such videos.